Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Lumino and this is Project Abacus. Today I'm going to talk about how to get started investing in the stock market. So much has been said in the news from the pandemic, the record amount of cases, um, all the deaths that we've, that we've heard. But one topic that I really heard a lot about as well is the stock market. And that led to so many people asking the question in this video, how do I get started investing? We've seen uh, mid-March how the stock market crashed and how by the time that I reported this video in December, he is at record highs. We've seen so many new entrance to the stock market, uh, the so-called Robin Hood investors. So uh, I wanted to take the time to make this video about how to get started in the stock market. All right, let's get to it. Number one, the first thing you're gonna have to do if you wanna get uh, started investing is finding a broker. Broker is nothing more than a middleman. A person who matches um, someone who's looking to buy a stock and someone who's looking to sell the stock. In the past, that used to be done by people carrying out orders. Now, it's 2020 and everything is done by computers. So what you're gonna have to do is find an online broker. Finding a broker, of course, it's a crucial part of your investment strategy. And I'm gonna be making a video that talks about how to pick a good broker and I'm gonna be recommending a few so look for that video on my channel as well number two once you've found a broker you're gonna have to fund your account and that's nothing more than putting money in your account so what you're gonna do is you're gonna link your bank account with your brokerage account and transfer money in there so that you are ready to purchase the stocks so once the funds are in the account then it comes the fun part all you have to do is pick the stocks that you want and purchase them. Just make sure that whenever you're purchasing stocks, that you diversify. And what I mean by diversifying is you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. So try to buy as many companies as possible, quality companies that you believe in, companies that you trust, uh, it's leadership. And after that, it's just a waiting game. Just wait for uh, the stock price to go up and companies to pay dividends if, they, if that's what they do if they pay dividends. I'm going to be making another video that talks about how to diversify a portfolio. So also be sure to check out that video on my channel. Once you've picked your online broker, you have fund your account. The third step is one that so many people, so many investors skip, but it's so important and so crucial for you to be successful when it comes to trading stocks. The third step is defining your risk tolerance. And what that means is how much risk are you comfortable with? And that is so important because that's gonna dictate how you invest your money. What kind of stocks are you gonna invest? What companies are you gonna invest? In what industries are you gonna invest your money in? So that is very, very important. Are you okay with taking on more risk? And therefore, the higher the risk, the higher your reward. But don't forget that in that sentence, risk is present. So there will be times where you if you have a really high risk tolerance, you're gonna be 50% down and you have to be okay with that. What you don't wanna do is um, say that you're okay with risk and then when the market goes down, you go ahead and start panic selling. That is gonna set you back even further. So whatever you pick as a risk tolerance, make sure that you're being true and honest with yourself. What a lot of investors are gonna do is they're gonna overestimate how much risk they can take, and then when they see the portfolio down 10, 15%, they go ahead and start selling. Another thing that is really important with your risk tolerance is that that's gonna dictate what kind of strategies you're gonna implement when it comes to the stock market. Me personally, uh, I don't try to time the market because yeah, it's very obvious, buy low, sell high, but timing the market is a losing strategy in my opinion. Very few are able to do that. Um, a better approach, and one that's been proven to be the market over time is so you're gonna have to make sure that you know what your investment horizon is 
how long are you willing to hold certain stocks and depending on your risk tolerance you need to know that if you don't have a high tolerance for risk then you should move towards more safer investment options and if you think that you can see your portfolio 50 percent down and be okay with it not sell anything and just wait then you probably have a high risk tolerance, but be very honest with that because that's gonna determine how your investments are gonna do. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. This is Project Advocates. My name is Fermino, and I'll see you next time.